X2 reached out to me asking if I could review their top of the line key programmer and advanced scanner and it's a beast of a tool. This tool features topology scans, supports all system scanning, it also has bi-directional functions, supports ECU coding and does advanced key programming. Today I'll be focused on showing you what you get in the box, doing live demos and showing some functions that you're able to carry out using this tool and then in subsequent videos I'll be trying some key programming so stay tuned for those and here's my review of the X2 X100 Max scanner. Now let's get this. Besides getting this as a free review sample, I didn't receive anything else from X2. They also had no input into the content of this video. So unboxing, and we have a really large case which measures 13 by 19.5 inches. Opening up the case and we have the following, some documentation, a hard copy manual is not included in the box. We'll be coming to the scanner in a bit, let's keep that aside. Next we have OBD1 connectors for some cars, Honda, Kia, Hyundai and Mazda, OBD2 adapter and serial cable for connecting the car to the VCI, an IC cable and test stand for reading EEPROMs and chips and we round out this half with the vehicle connector interface which you use to make both wired and wireless connections to the car. Moving over to the second half of the case and we have the power brick which has a type C port and some adapters for wall sockets. We also have the accompanying type C to type C cable for charging the device, a cigarette lighter cable used for powering some of the accessories, type B to type C cable for making a wired connection to the tool. This is advised if you your programming keys or modules. We also have the 12 plus 8 pin secure gateway cable for bypassing the secure gateway module on 2018 FCA vehicles and up. This would include Chrysler's, Dodge and so on. Similarly, we also have the 16 plus 32 pin gateway bypass cable for some Nissans made in 2020 and above. It's good that these cables are included in the box because without these cables, you won't be able to do much on these cars except you purchase an auto opt subscription. This side of this compartment has the KC501 which is an X tool accessory for programming keys for some cars with advanced immobilizer systems like Benz, VW, BMW and so on. It can even be used for clearing crash data from SRS modules if you know what you're doing. It comes with several cables for reading and writing EEPROMs and chips, a bunch of microcontroller units for programming functions, key data collector for programming infrared keys for Mercedes-Benz, more cables for chip reading and writing functions and the KC501 itself. I've done previous videos showing how to use this device to program keys on Mercedes-Benz and I'll be showing some content in the coming weeks. And finally that brings me to the X100 Max itself which is quite large and well built. It sports a 9.7 inch display and at the top you have a type C charging port, a hole for resetting the device and the power button. On the rear you have an 8 megapixel camera, the speaker grill and as you must have seen a kickstand. Here's everything that comes in the case. In terms of specs, just to highlight a few, this runs on Android 10 and makes a wired or wireless connection to the car. Battery is 12,800 milliamps. It supports the latest protocols like the CAN-FD, diagnosis over internet protocol. Just to say here that even with those cables that I showed you, you may still encounter some functions that may not work and basically every tool on the market either has to have these bypass cables or purchase an auto out subscription. To connect to the car you just plug this end of the serial cable to the VCI box and then the other end goes into the OBD2 adapter which then goes into the OBD2 port. The VCI uses Wi-Fi for connecting to the tool which improves the stability, speed and range of the connection. I've already demonstrated this in a previous video and we'll be seeing that today as well. Powering up the device and we have X2's refreshed landing page. Walking away from the bottom to the top, the more icon features some tabs where you can find the owner's manual as well as the coverage list for this tool. For example, here's what's covered in terms of programming keys for Mercedes-Benz. As at the time of making this video, I don't think any generic scan tool has yet cracked the code for the FBS4 
keys and that's why you're not seeing more recent mercedes-benz years here you can also update the vci through here or connect x tools endoscope optional accessory if you have that available remote control is for getting remote assistance through team viewer and reports are where you get your previous scans from updates is for downloading vehicle updates to the scanner and that leads us to special functions this tool is advertised to have 42 plus special functions however i counted only 41 but that could be due to the fact that i haven't completed all the pending updates in addition to the regular suspects you also have more advanced stuff like adas writing of the vin and so on this is a nice spread of special functions i've always said that not everything here is going to work because all cars don't have these systems to start off and even where they do the manufacturer may not have built in a special function for that system my advice is to use x tools coverage tool to confirm the functions that are supported in your car before making a decision on this tool i'll leave the link to x tools function coverage tool down below just in case you want to check it out diagnosis is for making a manual connection to the car and so we're just going to use auto scan which decodes the vin and i go ahead to finalize selection for my 2017 honda accord the pre-post scan is used for scanning all the modules before and after repairs and it's quite similar to the all system scan i select the all system scan and that starts you can either use this topology view or you can go to the list view a topology scan maps the entire network showing how different ecus or systems in the car are linked i also like that they've included a zoom out button so that you can have a better view of the entire network this explains for example why the steering angle warning light will always come on with the abs on hondas this is just a parallel code and comes as a result of the linkage between both systems this ended up taking one minute 26 seconds which is fast from here i go into system selection and then into the engine control module here's a display of live data you're able to graph a maximum of eight pids at any one time one thing i noticed is that just going by how quickly the rpm is changing that tells me that the baud rate or the speed of communication with the tool is quite good again that goes back to that connection via wi-fi and the hardware in general i then went in to do some actuation or bi-directional testing and i was able to turn on the radiator fan i was also able to power on the fuel pump and my experience has been that x2 generally has good access to bi-directional tests at least on this car so no concerns there going into the immobilizer module you can see that there's support for replacing a number of control modules including the ecm i then moved over to a 2013 toyota rav4 just to demonstrate ecu configuration which is an aspect of ecu coding this enables you to change a number of hidden settings in the car which isn't usually available to car owners for example you can change the time it takes for the car to automatically lock itself from 30 to as high as 120 seconds and i guess the most useful setting you're able to turn off are those annoying chimes when the door is open in terms of cons i don't really have much to say the only thing i'd like to point out is that the scanner is quite large here's the scanner lying side by side with my surface pro 9 which has a 13 inch display this should give you an idea of its size and it's also relatively heavy but once you get past that you know i found this device to be a really advanced scan tool with very good diagnostic speeds topology scan a plethora of service functions bi-directional or actuation testing ecu coding and supports advanced key programming the fact that it comes with the kc501 is a real plus because that device itself retails for around 600 dollars also the inclusion of these bypass cables is really nice as at the time of making this video Video, the x100 max retails for $1,299 the tool comes with two years of free updates and after that it costs $500 a year for a subscription which is quite competitive considering what competing brands charge for renewal fees at this level of functions in case you're considering this scanner you can use my exclusive discount coupon with the link down below to get a six percent off i have a number of key programming videos lined up be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of those and i'll catch you on the next one peace